As an advanced high-performance series hybrid, the Fisker Karma uses two fuel sources, electricity from the state-of-the-art lithium-ion high-voltage battery and gasoline to run the internal combustion engine that generates the electrical energy needed to charge this battery and to propel the vehicle. The Karma's high-voltage battery is charged by plugging the onboard convenience charger into a common household outlet. The 110 convenience charger comes with every Karma and is located beneath the floor of the luggage compartment. Depending on the vehicle's state of charge, this unit will fully charge the Karma's battery in less than 12 hours. Fisker also offers an optional 220-volt household charger. Compared to the 110-volt convenience charger, this unit reduces the time needed to fully charge the Karma's battery by as much as 50%. The charging port is located at the left rear of the vehicle. To connect the charger to the charging port, make sure that the car is positioned within easy reach of the cable. To open the charging port door, press the rear edge of the cover and release. This unlatches the door. To connect the charger, I just insert the cable to the charging port. You can see here that there is a spring-loaded clip that engages to lock the cable in place. Once I've secured the cable to the port, the vehicle is locked in park to prevent it from being driven away. As the vehicle is charging, the charging indicator light illuminates on the instrument cluster. Here, I can monitor the battery's state of charge. When the charging indicator light goes out, I know that the battery is fully charged. To disengage the cable, I first have to press the release button on the top of the cable, here. Then I can remove the cable and close and latch the charging port cover. The fuel filler for the gasoline engine is on the right side of the car. You can find the fuel door release button inside the Karma down by the driver's left knee, here. You can open the fuel door once the latch is released. The filler cap is secured by a short tether so you can't lose it. You can then fill the fuel tank. When fueling is complete, remove the nozzle and replace the filler cap. Make sure that you turn the cap past three clicks to assure that the evaporative emission control can function properly. Close the filler door until it latches. For more information regarding the procedure for charging and fueling your Karma, consult the Karma Quick Reference Guide or your Karma Owner's Manual.